Hey, Miss Megan. <laughs> Excuse me. Good morning. I trust that all is going well. I keep telling Mr. Uh, Mattel that I'm going to send you a, a letter or a note concerning the type of math that he's having um, challenges with. And when we get to the how questions, because, you know, we're still going over in creative writing, um, who, what, when, where, why, and how. And a lot of times I'll ask how many or how much, how often, how long, um, how do I, how do you, et cetera. And so when we were talking about Thomas Edison this last time, the time before that, we talked about somebody else, but um, we, were talk, we were doing the, 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 the structure of creative writing or any type of writing um, by asking the who, what, when, where, why, and how questions. That's what I'm trying to explain. <laughs> Sorry about that. And um, so we get to the point to where he has to math. So, math. so um, Thomas Edison made his or created the uh, phonograph in 1877. And I said, how long ago was that? So he, he you know, kind of made the squinchy face, like, what are you talking about? So I said, do you remember how to, or do you know how to subtract by borrowing? And he said, no. So I said, okay, write 2020. And then under that, write um, 1877. So he 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 kept kept not doing that. So and so I said, do you know how to? I said, let let me show you. So I show him. I turn the the picture on my page. I wrote it kind of big. And I turn a picture on it, and he said, oh oh okay. So I let him copy off of me, and then I said, well now can you take away a seven from a zero? And he said, no. And I said, Mr. Mateo, um, do you know how to do this type of math where you have to borrow from your neighbor? And he said, no. But that's the second time he said that. So I said, I'm going to show you how to do it. And then I did the, the problem myself. And I said, then you, have, you cannot take it from this one. So you have to take it from your neighbor, which is the two. And, and then, you know, he kind of like, I get that. So, and then I said, and but you cannot take away anything from the next zero. So he changed the subject. He said, did you, how much is um, zero times 45? How much is, like, and I answered him and I said, Mr. Mateo, any, any answer or any question multiplied by itself is, is zero. And he said, oh, okay, okay. So he's getting math, uh, the concept of math like when you do something with zero, but he still says that he does not know how to subtract by um, barring. He, he says he does not know how to do that. And I keep forgetting to, to um, explain it to you, but then I keep remind, not keep forgetting, but keep not explaining that he needs help in that area. And so when I tutor, I personally, I don't tutor from Khan Academy, as you can see right here in the corner. Let me see if I can um, there it is. I have an account at Khan Academy. And what I do is I go through the challenge. It's called the math challenge and a, a, a course challenge because they do first, second, third. No, not first and second. First and second is on your um, phone or your tablet, which is good. Um, they do a lot with um, higher education. And usually when I um, tutor, from Khan Academy, I go over the course itself, and then I take from the course what the student needs in that course. And this one, of course, is subtracting, dividing, fractions, and you can see I already started it. And I just wanted to let you know that if if you go to um, KhanAcademy.org, math, and then you can find, if he has an account here, it's awesome, then you can find, and it's free, and then you can find um, getting ready for third grade and allow him to take the course. And what the course does is, it's, even though it says it's 30 to 45 minutes, when I go over the course with uh, first graders, I, I go over this course right here because I remember how I teach college or I break down college courses for little ones. Well, when uh, they're in the preschool on up is a, it's a head, I call it sight math. 
and I teach them how to do algebra from the age of four to like till you get to algebra really <laughs> and I teach them how I break it down so much so and that's how I teach little people how to excuse me multiply divide add and subtract because that's what algebra is so it says a mastery challenge um let's get started and it's get ready for addition so it starts you off kind of like in the fifth grade when you're in kindergarten this is um Khan academy does and i usually start little people from this course right here this course of training so it's in let me see if i can make it bigger So it's, it's right here. And then what it does is it takes you through all of the steps and you can take your time. Even though it says that right there, I literally take my time um, instructing the children how to go over this. It says, um, is the rectangle divided into fourths? See, they're already, this, this is the third grade, of course. But this basically is sight math. And what I do is when it comes to um, um fractions i take out money anytime you know four quarters equals a dollar because fractions is money so what the concept changes over and so now they're working with money they get the opportunity and this is like little kids so not i don't do third graders on third grade math i do third graders and uh, like ninth and tenth grade math so he needs to work on the subtraction of let me see this is his question, so he probably remember it. Because the, the first time we did it, it was um, he had to, he did the math in his head. He did not write it down, but I I tried to help him to get corrected, not get corrected, but to correct the problem. Eighteen seventy seven. I hope you understand. I'm trying to take my time. Uh, and that's what's been taking us longer in the class because when we get to the the how, how much, how many, um, so it, those are adding and subtracting questions, of course. And so he's, he's having problems with borrowing because I asked him, I said, can you take the seven away from zero? He said, no. I said, well, what do you do? And he couldn't answer me. And so I just asked him, do you know how to borrow from your neighbor? You take, this is a two, you take one away from it, so it leaves one left over. And the one you took away from the two is 10, makes this one right here a 10. You give it to the neighbor that's doing the borrowing. And then, so I'm trying to figure out a way to help him because I know that reading, writing, and math goes together. The symbols that you use in math, you use in reading, like the dot is multiplication. Um, the X, the letter X is multiplication. The line that goes like this in math is a subtract line also like that. So we put them all together and we're to the point now uh, where how many is asked a lot in, in like historical um, questions, um, it really any question. But I hope I, I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to let you know that he needs help in this area right here. And um, let's see. So far, that's basically it. <laughs> you be encouraged and have a blessed day.